Hey guys, it's Timekeeper here. I apologize that I haven't uploaded a video in a while, but you probably noticed my background is more messy than ever. I recently got a new bed, so yeah. I'm still in the process of cleaning up my room, but I wanted to do a video for you guys just so you know I'm not dead. And um, yeah, I'm here, I'm alive, so yeah. So I've been trying out a new sort of sound design thingy, so uh, allow me to show it to you. Boom. Here we have an EQ just absolutely losing its mind. This is literally my brain right here when I'm trying to write a song. If you guys haven't seen a Virtual Rides video on this, I'll leave a link down in the description just so you guys can watch it and um, recreate this EQ for yourself. But it's actually a very powerful sound design tool. Now, when I first saw this, when he uploaded the uh, video on it, I really wanted to recreate this EQ, mainly because it sounded like a glitch generator to me. But when I recreated it, and when I tried making glitches with different plugins that I had, I couldn't really get the glitch effect. Until I added a nice stock plugin here called Vocoder. Now, before I touch anything here, I just want to show you guys what it sounds like. Sounds pretty crazy, but I want that to sound more like a glitch, so I added this vocoder here, and I messed with the depth, I messed with the format, uh, I turned it to enhanced mode, I turned it to 28 uh, bands, kind of messed with it a little bit, and we get something like this. Kind of sounds like a really growly, wet glitch, pretty much. <laughs> so there's different knobs you can play around with on here. Uh, you could turn the offset EQ all the way up, and then you get something like this. Kind of sounds a little more glitchy. Uh, you could turn the smooth all the way down so you can get more rhythm. Haha. Or you could turn the rate all the way up and make it just absolutely lose its shit. Hee 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 hee. So I wanted to try something a little different as well with this EQ. You know, I have this EQ, I have everything ready, but I wanted to try something else with it. So I threw on a pitch map. Uh, I can't really open the plugin when I'm in this window. I apologize. But uh, I put pitch map on it and uh, it ended up sounding pretty cool. <laughs> Now it sounds like a color-based glitch, but I wanted to take it a step further. So I turned up the offset EQ all the way, I turned the smooth all the way down, and then we get something that sounds like this. Kinda sounds like a Psytrance bass, and that's exactly what I was thinking. I made a little drop here, and we're gonna listen to it together. I'm gonna play it before the drop because I'm afraid that the CPU might go burr when uh, I try to play this, so uh, take a listen. I'm on this. Pretty cool, and I just want to give a big shout out to Virtual Riot. If he hadn't have done this sort of EQ trick, I would have probably not come up with this idea ever, unless if somebody else uh, did this whole EQ sort of thing. So another thing I love playing around with this EQ as well is I just love playing around with the jitter knob, and then just creating like <laughs> kind of sounds pretty crazy. And I forgot the solo everything i'm sorry <laughs> uh let's hear that again kind of on its own and i bet you if we turn pitch map off it kind of sounds like a glitch yeah a little bit so you can mess with a lot of stuff with this uh you can mess with the shape you can kind of make it go like all square Oh no, maybe. That's not such a good idea. <laughs> you kind of mess with the rate a little bit, so you can make it kind of like go really fast. So 
you can kind of really do some crazy stuff with it. You can turn the smooth all the way up so you can make the EQ kind of lose its mind again. Pretty cool stuff. I just wanted to show this off because uh, this is a pretty cool idea I had, and I'm definitely going to be using this um, this uh, EQ trick for other ideas as well. Maybe I can like make a drum and bass idea or something with this. So, yeah, I just wanted to show this real quickly because this was actually a really cool idea, and uh, I really, you know, am crazy about this whole thing. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'm definitely going to be uploading more in the future, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.